Um, Mr. President, may with the gentleman yield? Yes, Mr. Questions. President. We'll be I'd more like to than be happy very to uh, receive some questions. Uh, uh, my, I, I have I, the the objective is laudable, but as uh, my friend from Cavite, the province made said, there have been other programs like Intung Alay. Uh, there are a lot of programs. You know, I can tell you about the Pararon Pambasa, which the idea was to create. Uh, in the every region, uh, a nice uh, sports complex. This is all geared to uh, getting talent or young blood uh, to continue uh, the march for its uh, athletic prowess and intellectual uh, capabilities. No? Because many of these people are products of the public school system. Now, I would like to ask, and on this question will depend whether I'm going to vote for it. You're my friend, and I'd like to vote for it. But I want to know, what is this part of a program, a national program, or is this another one of those things that, hey, Anjana, I can, I can, I can justify, I'm sure you can justify it, and I will help you justify it. You have, the, you have the sports complex built there, and it is convenient to maximize its usage. But what I want to see, as you maximize the usage, is that this is part of an entire national program, the national sports program. Or is this one of the many in the mana just because it's there? And uh, what, what is it, actually? Well, well, the PSC, Mr. President, the PSC's mandate is grassroots sports development, Mr. President. And uh, the, the, the uh, objective of this uh, Philippine High School for Sports is to develop potential athletes at an early age, Mr. President. So in, in short, Mr. President, the mandate of recruiting from the grassroots uh, developing sports from the grassroots is in line with this school. It's also in line with the uh, PSE's mandate, Mr. President. I, I've said this once and I'll say it again. To have a program, all schools, and that's why DepEd should be involved with that. I don't know whether it, sh it should be involved in this because this is more or less a specialized agency uh, to, to, get, uh, to, to uh, intensify uh, talented, uh, the, 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 the development of talent by young people who are gifted. But I would imagine that, for example, in Venezuela, do you have intramurals in grade schools, in the public schools? Um, we don't, Mr. President. We don't, right? We, we don't do we have, have intramurals in the high schools? We don't have that, Mr. President. Now, this is one of the things that I marvel about the fact that, uh, on the lack of vision. Uh, I was fortunate enough because my parents worked hard to get, to get me into schools like St. Teresa's, Lourdes, Letran, Ateneo, and then UP. All these schools that I went to had intramural programs were grade school to grade school, high school to high school, and they had sports contests. So I, was, I got involved in sports pretty quickly. You know, here you're actually doing what I think you're doing is really creating like what Kai Soto is doing in America. He has a, he's attending a special institution training, training that facility. will train him to become an NBA player. Would that be correct? Um, Only there, he doesn't have the educational correct, skills. Correct, Mr. President. This one yes. has the academic component, Mr. President, which is essential in the development of the uh, athlete as a complete person, Mr. President. Well, we are all aware, Mr. President, and I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not blowing air on our school. No, my school is our UP and Ateneo in the UAAP. Mm -hmm. And in the Ateneo UAP, you have to make the grade, especially with Coach Baldwin, or for that matter, as early as uh, the time of Frankie Rabat when we got placed third in the uh, Brazil, Olympi uh, Brazil World Case uh, program. If you don't pass, you don't become a sportsman. You have, to, you have to get the grade, take care of your mind, man sano, before you take care of incorporate sano, mm -hmm. in a healthy body. Now, if this is the case, we are replicating this again. For what purpose? I would like to see a purpose. I can see that one purpose is to maximize. And I think you should put that in the bill. Mm -hmm. We put in a lot of investments here, and it will justify putting a school there so that people can use world-class facilities as is claimed, no? Not necessarily the caldera, not the caldero. <laughs> uh, so in other words, it will justify where people that better palaglalagyan. What is the end game? You will have, uh, as you can see in the program, I was a, 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 a track player. I played track and field. I ran the 800 and the 1500 meter dash in the NCAA. 
at that time. What about these other people? Are they going to be coming out of this as a very skillful in a particular event? Because I saw it's very event-oriented. <laughs> very event-oriented. And uh, the statement made by our colleague, by Province made from Cavite, is that very, and he corrected himself, there is teams, team sports, right? Mm. To me, Football. one of the first things that is taught, for example, even by coaches like Tab Baldwin, and I'm laying the predicate for my question, is that there must be education, and there will be a good team effort, no superstars, you have a role to play, and you win that way. If that is the objective of this institution, that will be off to a good start. Don't you think so? Yes, Mr. President. Now, having said that, in the, uh, in the program here, you say you are going to have uh, talented coaches. Now, how are you going to budget that? Are we, do we have a budget for that? Well, Mr. Or will it come out from the Department of Education? Because that's expensive. It is, Mr. President. That's why, um, in fact, as early as 15th Congress, Mr. President, uh, the idea of a uh, the idea for a creation of a high school for sports was uh, already sponsored by Senator Cayetano, Senator uh, Anga, P Pia Cayetano, Senator uh, Ed Angara, Mr. President. So, idea uh, was already there during the 15th Congress. Mr. In fact, uh, one, once upon a time, a colleague of yours, still now, uh, the daughter, the, the son, uh, the grandson of. Uh, my colleague in the Constitutional Convention, um, uh, the governor of Marinduque before. Edmund Reyes, right? His mother was my colleague uh, in the Constitutional Convention. I was surprised really that he was in the Barcelona. But, but he was playing football. Or for that matter, I think Sani Angara's son is so concentrated on tennis, he's giving a lot of time to tennis. Of course. I'm sure Sani is not going to for, forsake the education of his son. So it's a very elitist, very uh, concentrated institution that you're going to create. And I think it should be at the end game. To my mind, the money that we're going to put in here should be used in generating sports on the, after all, you now have all these Palarong Pambansa areas. A lot of gymnasiums are being built. This is a project of Congressman Sozo, project of Mayor Sozo, this gymnasium. And yet, you are saying that you're going to spot talent and you're going to bring them to the school, educate him, which I think is good. But in reality, a lot of people out there in the countryside should already be, in, be baptized in the era of competitiveness and teamwork and discipline on the grade school and on the high school level. Mm. Do we have that program? The answer is no, right? The answer is yes and no, Mr. President. The, <laughs> what the good gentleman from Cavite mentioned earlier, that DepEd um, has the mandate to um, develop potential athletes on the ground, Mr. President. That's why they have this Palaro Pambansa, and also they promote sports in their uh, own schools, Mr. President. And it's also embedded in the K-12 program, Mr. President. But this school intends to take it further, you know, Mr. President, by developing and honing their athletic skills, Mr. President. I understand that. And uh, there were several questions made by the minority floor leader and the congressman, the senator from Cavite, and that, bakit nasa DepEd yan? Bakit hindi sa public, hindi uh, sa uh, National Sports Commission? Bakit DepEd ang papatakbo? And you said it's for the education, etc., etc. But really, uh, that's why I say it should be the end game Dapat nakapag bata at least ng high school and that this is going to be an elitist uh, program where you can now uh, maximize the talent of the kid developed to the national sports system. Yes. Mr. President, the philosophy here is to uh, recruit potential athletes as early as possible, Mr. President. And from the model I saw in Singapore, you have athletes as young as uh, 13 years old, uh, being trained ready uh, to be potential national athletes, Mr. President. So the concept here is to um, locate these potential athletes and use the DepEd infrastructure also uh, to locate those athletes. But definitely the PSC, because of its grassroots development mandate, uh, grassroots sports development mandate, uh, the, the technical requirements will come from 
the PSC, Mr. President. But in truth and in fact, many of the outstanding athletes that we get nowadays are products of mixed marriages. Phil Ams. Phil Ams. Even in football, we get uh, ger uh, Phil germs. <laughs> Things like that, right? Correct, diba? Mr. President. I so, nasa yung pool ng talent sa baba? Wala rin. Ang nakukuha natin pa na yung mga hybrid na kumain na mas masarap kaysa sa Pilipinas, na-train sila sa eskwela, ng ibang basa, at kapos kayo kukunin natin sila. Uh, at uh, meron nga kaming natatawa nga ako ngayon eh, baliktad eh, yung player ng Ateneo na si, uh, ipataas natin si... Kai Soto. No, 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 yung galing sa Ivory... Ivory Coast? Oo, uh, si... The big guy. Uh, Wala si Joel eh, Joel. Hans, uh, uh, Hans uh, Kwame. He wants to be a Filipino citizen. And I'm only so happy because he's going to land in my committee. You know, he wants to be a Filipino citizen because he wants to carry the Filipino colors and he loves the Philippines. He grew up here and we have absorbed him. Uh, at least if, if this is what, I, if what I'm hearing is correct. I am want to say just because we want to be a champion, we will give instantaneous citizenship to a foreigner pagkatapos sa alis siya. For example, Blatch is a citizen, right? Uh, and... Uh, Dawit. Dawit. Dawit, no? So, lahat dyan, hindi pa rin tayo kumukuha sa baba. Pero mind this, there is a program, I will not mention the name, a lot of these kids now, they dribble between the legs, they dribble behind the back, at very young age. And they are the products now of uh, yung mga galing sa Buanga. It is self-taught and they acquire it because some business to cover it. Just as Kobe Bryant, on the way to a Kobe Bryant school, crashed in a helicopter because there is a school run by the private sector, run by private foundation, where young people go. I don't know whether we should be spending money. Uh, actually, I agree we should be spending money to maximize it. And that's one of the reasons why I, um, uh, I may vote for it. But I would like to see a program. And uh, since you, you uh, my good friend, uh, said, uh, the sponsor, is the head of education, that's where I think we should start. And I would like to work with you on that one. Yes, Mr. President. And, and Mr. President, I truly believe that we have the talent here. With a population of 100 million, we have the talent and we have no the doubt. potential talent. But we lack the, uh, what Senator Zubiri mentioned earlier, the super trainers, the super facilities. Uh, the motivation, the inspiration, the good coach. And I'm going to ask you this question again. Are these kids that you want to have a super athletes, as you want to call it, bright, matalino, and also very good in skills, are they going to be getting allowances? You know, living allowances. So that the... Uh, they have they, they a should. dorm. Yes, they will have a dorm. Yes. They will have to eat. They will have to... Nagtataga ako dito, tapos wala akong pangkain, wala akong pangbili ng equipment. Yes. Ha? Huh? It is an incentive. And that's why... That's one question I have. Yes, yes Mr. President. Did we overlook that, or is it part of it? Yes, Mr. President. It, it's part of it, Mr. President. The incentives and also the allowances part of it, Mr. President. And Mr. President, I just want to point out in slide 15, I did a little bit of uh, research. Uh, we did win the most number of uh, medals in the last 2019 SEA Games, 387, Mr. President. But if you look at the Olympics uh, for the last 28 years, we won medal four medals, Mr. President, uh, in the last 28 years for the Summer Olympics, Mr. And President. And these are individual sports, boxing. Mr. Correct, Mr. President. Weightlifting, sariling kayod, sariling sikap, correct? Correct, Mr. President. Yes, and now let me just say, if you look at teamwork, you have a guy like Pele who is now in, uh, I understand, very depressed. Uh, and I don't know why. He's very rich. Came from the favelas, favela, favelas are, uh, which is uh, more or less the informal settlers in Brazil. And yet, uh, he's a self-made man. He's a model, right? Mm. Uh, for that matter, Kobe Bryant went to Philadelphia High School, a high school in Philadelphia, and stop schooling. And when he talks, he's, it seems like he, he, he knows his business, no? mm -hmm. not just in basketball. Very creative, won an Oscar 
So these are the type of things that you're looking for, right? Yes, Mr. President, correct. And uh, again, I really believe that we have the talent. It's just the opportunity and also the right training and the right facilities, Mr. President. Well, I just want to be sure that we don't, uh, we don't uh, think that this is a panacea. Ito lahat and all. Because maganda yung sinabi kanina ni Senator Tolentino. Sabi niya, mayroon mga mayroon mga eskwela sa 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 Siargao, sa Surigao, may eskwela sa regional, Talisay, uh, Cebu na pinopondohan natin. This is going to be one of them. And I think maybe one of the things that we should do is rationalize all this and create that national program so that it becomes a parang uh, an assembly line from the grade school, tilitig na muna yan, patitin ng high school, imbitayin muna yan dito sa college sa ito. And besides, if I look at your title, look at the title of the bill, it seems like you're creating only one high school. But in reality, you said earlier under the questions of uh, our minority floor leader, you said there, there will be other systems in that, that will yeah. fall under the umbrella. So I may suggest that an act creating and establishing the Philippine High School for Sports system. Mm. It is a system. So it doesn't end up to be kayo lang, no? Uh, hindi kami nabibigyan because hindi naman kami, wala kami dun sa lugar na yan. Hindi kami matutulungan. They'll, we're not part of the system. I suggest you create a system yes. out of this. Yeah, that's a very good suggestion, Mr. President. And uh, um, in the future, Mr. President, uh, we want to uh, emulate the model of the Philippine Science High School wherein they created regional uh, schools also to take advantage of um, uh, the talent pool in that location, Mr. President. Yeah. Well, my, my problem has always been, ngayon na realize natin ang teamwork. Uh, we're not even going to get the tall guys that were developed by the old system in basketball, for example. Slaughter is not going to play. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this other guy uh, playing for Hinebra, uh, si Aguilar is not going to play. And now the captain ball is Keeper Ravenna, young, 26-year-old, uh, 25 years old. And a lot of young people are going to be part of it, right? But to my mind, uh, so far, ang nakikita natin dyan, yung mga individual sports like uh, Hidilin, who wins weightlifting. Weight, 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 weight and if we, if we support her, if that's all we want, one time, big time, naga gold medal tayo, I think it's a failure. I think we should really propagate. Mm. Di ba? Correct. We must really propagate. And that's why I laud uh, Mick Subiri, uh, do it while he's not here. Uh, because and also uh, Senator Tolentino. Mr. Yeah, so I was, I was going to start doing that. Senator Tolentino, for, you know, they, they create a program. Don't poo-poo our niche because it is really our national yeah. sport. And even if it's not an Olympic sport, you, produce, yet, you produce the spirit of competitiveness. You, you produce the spirit of discipline. And I think to me that's important. And another example would be Alexandra Ayala, 15 years old. He, she's now one of the top players. Uh, of the world in tennis and tennis uh, uh, and uh, she practically won 2020 Australia Open in the doubles I think for young people right so still individual we have to graduate towards a bigger game like we are naturals in football you know that uh, uh, this uh, guy uh, Ro uh, Rolando I think uh, one of the big players of uh, Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Ronaldo ba yan? Ronaldo. Yung Argentinian? Messi. Messi. Messi is about 5'6". And how many people are, you know, strong? I'm happy that in, in Odilo, uh, they have this program uh, in uh, Baratok Viejo, no? Nuevo, Nuevo. And they have a good program. And then these uh, uh, people in transportation, Ceres, they have developed a football yeah. stadium and they have developed an international team. So on its own, if we invite business to come in here, then we, and then we get young people to play at an early age, then you can actually bring them here. But you really have to make it number one because it's going to inspire others. My dream is to go to the Philippine Science High School. You know? Uh, my grandson was invited, was, uh, I have to say this, or some of his daughter will, uh, will love me more. She, he was accepted at Philippine Science High School, 
And uh, when he asked me, sabi ko, leave that to those na walang kakayahan economically. Kaya mo mag sa Savior, diyan ka mag and you'll go to the States anyway later on, but some guy out there should get the, your place. In the same manner that when the school is built, when you start getting from the provinces and some from somebody from poor background gets in there, his dream will be fulfilled because you're giving him this opportunity. Diba? And that's why and last question ko, paano yan pagka isang congressman lumapit o isang senador para wala, wala naman sila masabi sa atin. Boss, umangking ko yan, pasok mo yan dyan. Hindi, wala kang budget. Is that possible? Um, very possible. That should not be possible, Mr. President. I know, but it's very, very possible. The admission, because in the Philippine high, Philippine science high school, I know for a fact that uh, uh, they're very strict um, with the uh, uh, admissions program there, even though uh, the Senate has one seat uh, in that uh, school. Um, the Philippine Science High School is very, very strict with their admissions program. My answer, sir, is it right or wrong? Wrong if they force it upon us, force upon us somebody who's totally not that well endowed, but because he's congressman, he'll push it or his mm -hmm. senator will push it. Yeah. That's why I want to go back to the academy and say senators and congressmen should sponsor one cadet so that it's distributed. But it's up to the academy to accept. If he doesn't make the grade, no way, Jose. Same thing here. Yeah. So that's what we want. If we're going to fund this, we better make sure that we get uh, the best of the best uh, to make sure. And that must be strictly enforced so that you create a tradition of excellence uh, that must be followed uh, every year. And. Uh, Again, if you connect this to a national program, I think we'll be successful, more successful. I, I truly believe that, Mr. President. And uh, um, well, thank you for all the suggestions, Mr. President. And definitely, uh, at the end of the day, it's a national program that will dictate also what type of sports that the school should focus on, Mr. President. So my suggestion is, I'm not a member of your committee. I wish I was. But uh, we call the Philippine Sports Commission. Practically, I want the Philippine Sports Commission to run this if this is going to be it, no? because uh, they would, have the, they would have something to prove. The Department of Education will always prove education is great. But for the Philippine Sports Commission to run this, it will be a challenge to them to produce magagaling na mga bata para gagaling talaga ang ating sports program. But to me, it's a speck in the ocean. The real ocean is out there in the provinces, in the rural areas, in the intramurals that you're going to conduct. And when we do that, I think we'll get the, and it comes with the development as we, Improve, yes, Mr. Bird. As we right. improve uh, with all the OFWs, with all the new investments in BPOs, and a lot of young entrepreneurs doing cuisine, doing culinary works, doing inventions, e entrepreneurial work. I think that is a, a Colorado to success mm -hmm. uh, in sports and in education. Correct, Mr. President. And in most, uh, from my observation, uh, uh, most of the developed nations, the tendency is to win more in the Olympics, and because they're better funded, they're, 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 their nutrition is better, uh, they have access to uh, better coaches, and it, it's true that uh, the rise in our uh, economy comes also the natural rise in sports development and talent development. Mr. You are always going to Singapore as I used to do when I was younger. <laughs> I thought you were a Singaporean, quite frankly. No. <laughs> uh, when you were in the one, Senator Dillon, I, I thought he was a Singaporean. Senator Dillon uh, said I look like a student, Mr. President. No, no, no. You were looking at the ladies where they were firing. <laughs> one eye was just, uh, looking at the other. Well, Mr. Yeah, levity aside, my point is Singapore is a very rich country. They have a developed armed force, they have a developed economy. How many gold medals have they won? So it's not the gold medal. It's the status of a community of people that are endowed, inspired, motivated to excel and to compete. And that is the essence of it all. That's true, Mr. President. On that note, Mr. President, I will vote for this. Uh, Thank you, measure. Mr. President. Thank you for the wonderful suggestion, Mr. President. Uh, it will uh, continually enrich the uh, proposal, Mr. President. Thank you.